In this video, we will be solving system of nonlinear equations. In the previous video, we've solved system of linear equations and we saw what it meant. Uh, we saw how we could solve it graphically by substitution or by elimination. Now, for system of nonlinear equations, basically, we use the same techniques. The difference is we're dealing with different kinds of equations, different kinds of, of, of graphs. Um, in linear equations, we're only dealing with straight lines. In nonlinear equations, we're going to deal with curves. We're going to deal with parabolas and hyperbolas and circles and ellipses. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So for example, let me show you what this looks like graphically. Let me draw a partition plane, say that. And then let's say that my first equation describes a circle. And the other one describes an ellipse. Okay? Maybe something like that. So in that case, I have two solutions. That point and that point right there. So I have two solutions. Now, I could also have maybe a parabola. Okay? A parabola. And say an ellipse. Maybe something like that. So in this case, I have four solutions. I have four solutions. Okay? Or maybe I just have a parabola and then maybe I have a parabola and then a straight line okay, there so I have what I have two solutions that point and that so this is what solving system of nonlinear equations would look like graphically okay but we're not going to solve a system of nonlinear equations graphically because that's kind of hard okay so we're going to use elimination or substitution. All right, let's start. Okay, so let's say our example is this. Now, you can easily see that we're dealing with a circle and a line, a straight line. Okay, so we kind of have an idea of what this looks like. And in fact, I will show you the graph and the solution to this equation so that we will be guided when we actually solve it using substitution and elimination, okay? All right, so this is what the graph looks like. So we see that in indeed, we have a circle and a straight line, and we have two solutions. Our solutions are 4, 0, and 0, negative 4. And we got this solution using a method of graphing. Now, as I've said, we're not going to use graphing. Um, it's difficult, especially when you deal with hyperbolas and, and ellipses and so on. So let's use elimination or substitution let's start with substitution okay so well just like with linear equations we will solve one of the equations we will solve for y so in this case i will solve the second one because this is much easier to do uh, to solve so you have here uh, so that's negative y equals 4 minus x and then multiply both sides by negative 1 that will give me y equals x minus 4. So this is my equation and I'm going to substitute this to my first equation. Okay, to my first equation. So I will have x squared plus, now instead of writing y squared, I will have I will have x minus 4, that's my y, x minus 4 squared. Okay, equals 16. Right? And then I could simplify, so I can have x squared plus, and then this is x squared minus uh, 8x plus 16 equals 16. And right off the bat, I can see that I could cancel this out, and I can add these two terms. That will give me, that will give me 2x squared minus 8x equals 0 then I can divide all terms by 2 that will give me x squared minus 4x equals 0 and then be careful in this part most of you will do something like this x squared equals 4x and then divide cancel x 
and you're left with x equals 4. Most of you will do this. Don't do this. This is wrong. Okay? You will miss out on the other solution. Okay? So instead of doing that, that's wrong. Instead of doing that, you factor out x because x is a common factor for both terms. So that will give you x times x minus 4 equals 0. And then at this point, you can use the zero product property. So that will give you x equals 0 and x minus 4 equals 0. So you have two solutions. Okay? So x equals 0, x minus 4 equals 0, which will give you x equals 4. So you have two x's. x equals 0 and x equals 4. Okay? Now, the only thing that we need to do at this point is substitute these values to either um, either of these equations. So I'm going to use my second equation because it's much easier, much simpler. So if x is 0, then I will have 0 minus y equals 4. That will give me y equals negative 4. Okay, so that's when x equals 0, y equals negative 4. And then when x equals 4, that will give me 4 minus y equals 4. Okay. And then subtracting 4, both sides, that will give me y, negative y equals 0, which leads to y equals 0. Okay. So when x is 4, y is 0. When x is 0, y is negative 4. So my solutions are, so I have two solutions. 0, negative 4, and 4, 0, which agrees with the solution with the use of graphing. Now, let's see if we could do elimination for this system. Well, it turns out that we can't use elimination because in my first equation, I have x squared and y squared. In my second equation, I have x and y, so there's no way that I could do to eliminate. There's no way that I could eliminate the x squared because I don't have an x squared in my, denomin uh, in my second equation, and I don't have a y squared in my second equation. So I can't do elimination, and so we're going to stick with substitution. Typically, in solving system of nonlinear equations, you can, use, you can just use substitution.